Hi, this is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Centers Focus on Rock. Layla, perhaps one of the most recognizable songs and hooks to have ever happened in rock. An undeniable masterpiece from Eric Clapton's then band Derek and the Dominoes, it's no secret that this belter of an anthem was inspired by a somewhat starry love triangle. Clapton's then unrequited love for George Harrison's wife, British model Patty Boyd. So, what exactly was going on between the star-crossed lovers at the time? And who else contributed to the completion of this iconic slice of rock and roll? Well, it was during the filming of A Hard Day's Night when Sir George Harrison first set eyes on the young Patty Boyd, a 19-year-old who had been cast as a schoolgirl traveling on the same train as the Beatles. One of the first things he ever said to her on set was, will you marry me? When she laughed, Harrison said, well, if you won't marry me, will you have dinner with me tonight? Several days later, again on the film set, he asked her out once more, and this time she accepted. Fast forward to 1966 and they were dancing down the aisle. Eric Clapton and George Harrison became quite close friends around that time, even contributing unaccredited guitar parts on each other's work. Clapton on Harrison's While My Guitar Gently Weeps and Harrison on Clapton's and Cream's badge under the unusual pseudonym of L'Angelo Mysterioso. But something was stirring in Clapton. It was a blossoming love for Patty. The writing of Layla was inspired by a love story that began life as a poem, the story of Layla and Manjanin. In fact, it was Ian Dallas, a sheikh of instruction, who was busy trying to convert Clapton to Islam, who gave him the book. The story tells of a young man who fell hopelessly in love with a beautiful and unavailable woman and was driven insane because he could not marry her. The story resonated with Eric and reflected his own current sentiments of love for Patty Boyd, who was now Patty Harrison. He then set about writing Layla, a track that would go on to be named the 27th best track of all time by Rolling Stone magazine. The track itself never became a serious rock track until the intervention of Dwayne Ullman, who wrote that blistering signature riff. The final recording of the rock version would comprise of no less than 16 tracks, making it notoriously difficult to play out live to maximum effect. Clapton has said of the piece, Layla is a difficult one because it's a difficult song to perform live. You have to have a good complement of musicians to get all the ingredients going. But when you've got that, it's difficult to do as a quartet, for example, because there are some parts you have to play and sing completely opposing lines, which is pretty much impossible to do. If you've got a big band, which I always have on tour, then it will be easy to do something like Lena, and I'm very proud of it. I love to hear it. It's almost like it's not me. It's like I'm listening to someone that I really like. Derek and the Dominoes was a band I really liked, and it's almost like I wasn't in that band. It's just a band that I'm a fan of. Sometimes my own music can be like that. When it's served its purpose to being good music, I don't associate it with myself anymore. It's like it's someone else's. It's easy to do those songs then. Patty was also the inspiration behind the classic Harrison track, Something. She's often described as rock's most beautiful muse. Did she know that Layla was written about her at the time? Well, in her words, Clapton said, I've got something for you to hear. And he put it on my cassette machine and played it. And I said, oh gosh, this is unbelievable. And he was just looking at me and saying, this is for you. I've written this for you. All would play out well for Clapton, as he finally married the object of his desire in 1979, with Harrison even attending the wedding party for the pair. You can read more about this triangle of love in a memoir detailing her life with rock royalty called Wonderful Tonight. This is Carrie Cooper for Guitar Center's Focus on Rock. You can shop for the greatest selection of music gear on earth in store or at guitarcenter.com.